It's Jack from BT McFarland, and today we're going to talk about an affordable cab option that you can add to your tractor. So let's get into it. If you've spent any time in the tractor world, you've probably seen how much cabs cost for tractors. An aftermarket cab for a BX tractor that's going to be hard sided with a heater and windshield wipers is going to be in the neighborhood of about $14,000 if you order it right from Kubota. So there is definitely a need for these aftermarket cabs. This one right here, it is a soft side cab from Orange Aftermarket. As it sits here, it's about $2,200 installed. You can get it a little bit cheaper if you're willing to do the install yourself or if you're willing to sacrifice a couple of the options that we're going to get into. And this is also seen with other tractors as well, whether that be the B2601, the LX or the L01 series, you can get orange aftermarket cabs for those models as well, especially the LX2610. If you don't have a big need for that deluxe factory cab that's going to cost you about twelve to $13,000 on the LX tractor, this option here for that LX might be suitable for you. Taking a little bit closer look at the cab, you'll see that it is a vinyl side with plastic windows on the sides. An option for the front is this glass front windshield and this is a nice option because then you're able to add that front windshield wiper. So if you do opt for this and you have a BX with a front snowblower, you probably know from experience that when you use that front snow blower, a lot of the time the snow will come blowing back in your face. So having that hard glass windshield with the wiper does make a big difference. Now looking at the side of the cab, you will see that it does have doors. It has doors on the left and the right hand side. Taking a look at the inside of the cab, it's not going to be completely sealed. So it's not going to be like that Curtis cab or a factory cab where it's completely sealed with seals all the way around the outside on the foot pedals on the battery as well. So you don't get that with this, but it is fairly well sealed. There's not too many cracks and gaps in it. It is very sealed around the hood and then around the back close to the back. Oh, the only thing that would be open is around the door area at the top here or on the foot pedals you can see down, but not a whole lot of cold air will get in through there. There is also an optional heater that you can get. It's not going to be a very strong heater where it blows really hot and fast in your face. It's going to be more of a subtle heater that if you let the tractor run for about 10, 15 minutes before you do go blow snow, it will get warm in here alongside the heater. When you run the tractor, the transmission naturally gets warm. So you do get a bit of radiant heat coming up through the floorboard that does keep the cab fairly warm. Now we're looking at the back of the cab. You will notice that it is completely sealed and closed off at the back. So that is important to note. If you do opt for an aftermarket cab like this one here, you will need rear hydraulic remotes in order to operate a snowblower back here. So if your rear snowblower has hydraulic rotation and deflection, you won't be able to actually access the manual crank with the cab as it sits now. I have seen customers cut holes and kind of re-sew it back here so they can put their hand through and turn the manual crank. That would only be really suitable on a BX series tractor or a BX23S, sorry, with the backhoe where you can't actually add rear hydraulic remotes. But on an LX, a B01 or an L01 series tractor, if you get the rear remotes, you will have no problem using it. This cab works exceptionally well on front snowblowers as well. So there's no issues there since all the front snowblower controls tie right into your loader stick. So you're not going to have any issues not being able to use your front snowblower with a cab like this. So you might be asking yourself, who exactly is this cab for? It's for someone who doesn't want to be out in the cold and who doesn't want to get covered in snow while doing their driveway. And they also don't want to break the bank going with a factory cab that's going to cost them anywhere from ten to fourteen thousand dollars, depending on the tractor. Or if you're in the summertime and you don't always want to have the cab on, because a lot of the times when you opt for that aftermarket dealer installed cab, you're going to have to leave it on all the time. It's not very easy to take off or something like this. You can take off in about two hours maximum. There's only a couple bolts that actually hold it onto the tractor and it'll come off as one giant piece and you can set it aside in the summertime and still use your open station tractor. And it's also going to keep you out of the blowing snow. So if you have that front or rear snow blower, you're not going to have all that blowing snow coming back in your face. So I think it's an exceptional option if you're looking for something that's already fitted for the tractor too, and you don't want to have to mess around cutting your own tarps and trying to make something aftermarket yourself from Home Depot for this tractor. 
And that's where we're gonna wrap up today's video. If you have any questions about this cab, leave them down below in the comments. If you're enjoying the videos, remember to like and subscribe. If you need help with parts, sales, or service, give us a call at 613-225-0555. Thank you.